We begin tonight with a showdown between the federal government and Texas over the southern border. The Department of Justice has sued Governor Greg Abbott after the state refused to remove large rolling buoys in the Rio Grande, installed in an effort to block migrants from crossing. The federal government says the barriers are dangerous and unlawful, while the governor said he had a right to defend his state's border. Last week, an internal complaint from a state trooper obtained by CBS News called the state's response, quote, inhumane. The trooper claimed he and other law enforcement officers were told to push migrants back into the water. He called the buoys a trap. CBS's Janet Shamley and starts us off tonight. Janet, good evening. Major, good evening to you. These are the buoys in question here along the Rio Grande, and tonight it appears they are not going anywhere, despite the threat from the Justice Department. This one is very likely headed to court. It's a proverbial line in the sand. This one floating in the middle of the Rio Grande. Texas Governor Greg Abbott and the Biden administration at a standoff at a barrier meant to keep migrants out. No matter how much razor wire that Governor Abbott puts up, it won't solve the border crisis. The Department of Justice gave Texas until 1 p.m. Central to agree to remove the buoys. The governor's response, Texas will see you in court, Mr. President. Tonight, the DOJ filed a lawsuit and said in a statement, this floating barrier poses threats to navigation and public safety and presents humanitarian concerns. The one person that is sowing chaos is Governor Abbott. That's what he continues to do, political stunts in an inhumane way. They stretch only 1,000 feet along the state's 1,200-mile border. Anchored to the river bottom, the buoys roll if someone tries to climb over them. Along with newly erected razor fencing along the shoreline, it's part of a multi-billion dollar state effort to deter illegal immigration. We're securing the border at the border. What these buoys will allow us to do is to prevent people from even getting to the border. But migrants have reportedly become tangled in the wire and suffered injuries. It just hurts my heart. Epi Canoe store owner Jesse Fuentes is suing the governor over the barriers. What problem do you see the buoys posing for the migrants? They're just a hazard. They're a hazard. They're going to deviate from that location to deeper water. Do you believe lives are in danger? Definitely. Yes, ma'am. The lawsuit marks an escalating political showdown between the Biden administration and the governor over the southern border, one that has been ongoing since the president took office in 2021. Major. Janet Shamlian, thank you.